Guys, the biggest change in 2025 is that politics is getting into crypto in a massive way. And with that comes a huge opportunity for us mm. to make a little bit of money. Hell yeah. Right. Then the thing that's a little bit newer now is that we before we thought politicians are just going to play around with the big titles, the big coins, the big boys, right? Like Bitcoin, Solana, even Cardano. But DeFi. All right, this is what really excites me because DeFi is also entering that political spectrum mm -hmm. and you can see that shift from people, you know, just spinning some coins to really thinking about what is the future of finance. And with that, we can really smash down, destroy traditional financial systems, which yeah. I'm excited for and make a lot of money in a way. Yeah. But anyways, all this talk about money, what are we really excited for right now is DeFi. But literally, the project's called DeFi. D dot Fi. Yes, it's in the name. <laughs> it's in the name. You can't even make this stuff up. Yeah. So literally, D dot Fi, mm. what they're doing right now, it's really exciting, is that they have a massive conference with Donald Trump Jr. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's the sending scouts, right? Yes. The scouts are coming mm -hmm. to bring the big boys on. Yeah. And on top of that, they have Kevin O'Leary, the president of the 51st state yeah. of America. <laughs> He's coming in also speaking about DeFi at this conference. So you guys, regardless of where you're at, you have to pay attention to what is happening with D.Fi. Mm -hmm. But also, of course, just even having with the name itself, they're going to blow the hell out. But they're a white canvas for the basically the integration of DeFi into American financial systems. Mm -hmm. So if that doesn't make you excited, I don't know what does. But in this video, we're going to talk about what's happening mm -hmm. on the social scenes because, you know, it's politics. So we got to see what's what people are saying. Mm. On top of that, we'll do a quick overview on what DeFi is actually doing and why we're really excited for DeFi. With that, guys, everything covered here is my personal opinion, not financial advice. Let's get started. Let's start with beginner stuff, right? Mm. So first of all, yeah, their handle is DeFi, at DeFi on Twitter. Mm. And their slogan is make DeFi great again. Mm. All right, um, very original title. <laughs> I wonder where they came up with that. It's very familiar. And of course, they got some big tweets. So legitimately, Donald Trump Jr. says, looking forward to speak at DeFi. So same tag, mm -hmm. World 2025 on Wednesday. So previously already, Donald Trump Jr. has already talked at DeFi World 2025. That was last week. Mm -hmm. But what's gearing up is March 20th, mm -hmm. right? That's the very, very big one. Mm -hmm. On top of that, Kevin O'Leary, he already also spoke at the DeFi world mm -hmm. in on February. So this is like kind of the warm, warm up, you know, hey guys, let's make DeFi known. I mean, it makes sense, right? Because mm -hmm. if you think about it from a politics standpoint, they barely knew what Bitcoin is. Mm -hmm. So for them to understand what DeFi is, for all these politicians to understand what DeFi and wrap their heads around that, mm -hmm. you know, precisely less than one month now, time from now, so tw on the 20th of March, mm -hmm. that's where the big event's gonna happen. So we kind of suspect that there's a big, 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 kind of play mm. that's in the undercurrents of everything that's happening. Mm. Then of course, we know that when big guys do something like this, we know there's big followers, huge followers. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So <laughs> people that are following this are OKX, mm. Coinbase, mm. Binance, mm. Consensus, the guys behind MetaMask, 21 shares, the first BTC ETF issuer, and a lot of tier one VCs. So a lot of these guys are following what DeFi is doing mostly because their name mm. and of course the political connections which i find extremely powerful but mm. this is what is actually making us quite excited because obviously i've covered DeFi for a long time and when i took 2020 by storm you know DeFi summer really came about that time was just absolutely insane yeah. millions started pouring mm -hmm. and then the billions started pouring yeah. and now this wave right what i think what's happening with the wave is when trillions start pouring because I remember you told me about how insane summer was. It was crazy. It's nuts because I think the biggest value here is the ability for any engineer to come up with a very simple smart contract. Mm -hmm. And this doesn't require a massive team of 2,000 people. It doesn't mm -hmm. require a team of 200 mm -hmm. legal people. It doesn't require a team of, you know, operations people that are like, thousands of them. That's kind of what we see in traditional banks. Mm. All these assets are managed by this huge team. But with decentralized finance, what's happening mm. is that a very smart person can write a bit of code and it can essentially act like a bank. 
We saw borrowing lending platforms like Compound. Then we saw farming pro products come up all over the place. And that was kind of what DeFi summer was, is all about the farming and where capital can be deployed. Mm. So this actually kind of mimics what traditional finance is too. Basically all these services, these pools, asset classes. Mm. Whilst it sounds complicated, what DeFi changes fundamentally about what's happening is that it makes everything very transparent. Mm. This is why I'm very excited because like, if you lived in my shoes and you try to deal with the bank and say, you know, what, what do these things do? You know, if you're trying to invest in a product, what do these things oh, yeah, do? There were so many clauses. Yeah, <laughs> it's a legal, a legal list of clauses. Yeah. And like, I just want to know what it does. Mm -hmm. And what DeFi does is it allows you to track everything transparently. When, once funds go into a particular product, you can see exactly what the product is doing mm -hmm. and it can ensure that it's going to the right places. So doing what exactly what they say they are doing. Mm. I think this is the biggest difference between traditional finance and decentralized finance. Decentralized finance, we have an on-chain proof mm -hmm. that this is happening. Mm -hmm. And then a traditional finance product, you just have a bunch of lawyers mm. erasing <laughs> the records. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Delete, <laughs> redact that, please. <laughs> So that is why I'm really excited for decentralized finance, really making it big inside politics mm -hmm. is because it opens up all transparency. And of course, it removes all that waste mm -hmm. that's happening in the finance space. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about the DeFi platform itself. So what they're doing is they have basically a state of the art tools to analyze what's happening on chain. Mm -hmm. And I think this is the kind of the starting point for any strong politically backed platform. You don't want to start doing products yet, mm -hmm. but you want to see what's going on chain because that gives them a lot of authority mm -hmm. and trust. It's almost like what Coinbase did, right? Coinbase gained trust first with the politicians mm -hmm. and then they became kind of the US's biggest crypto exchange because they, they gained trust. Mm -hmm. So now I think what DeFi is doing is they're starting at the trust phase. So basically they're providing data to places like CoinGecko, CoinTerminal, Consensus, AvaScan, essentially giving that data so people trust them to use that data. The big names, mm -hmm. right? So that's kind of what they've been doing for the past year or so. On top of that, they're giving the conferences. So you saw the one that Donald Trump Jr., Kevin O'Leary, they went to DeFi World that was in Colorado, but there's another one coming. This is the one we're hyped up about. So I, you can see them, they're, they're ramping up the events, they're getting the politicians inside, they're getting the big guns in, mm. slowly introducing people to DeFi. So. Mm. I feel like this is the trust phase for them, mm. right? They're gaining legitimacy and trust, but providing data first, mm. right? And then of course, I mean, that's when they can do some really funky stuff. I mean, just by the name DeFi, I think this is what excites me, right? The name, it's almost like crypto.com. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Crypto.com, part of, I think 50% of their value comes from their name. The name, yeah. Right? Like, like, where do you want to go to trade crypto? Oh, crypto.com. Yeah, right? that's straightforward. Where do you want to change the change finance and make a lot of money? Well, DeFi. <laughs> <laughs> so I think they got the best tag. So I really see them as just kind of like a stepping stone for what's going to happen. Yes, exactly. So I'm actually using D.Fi to bundle my wallets across different chains. So if you think of something like you have your funds on EVM and mm. Solana, and then you use something like DBank to track your holdings, right? Mm -hmm. But it only tracks what you hold on EVM. Oh, right, so right, right, right. So it combines is, everything together. Yeah, it, it makes it so that you're organizing your strategies a lot easier, much cleaner that way. So you can have, even for free users, you can have up to five wallets for your bundles. So here you can bundle one EVM, one Solana, one mm -hmm. Cardano, mm -hmm. one Cosmos, then one Tezos and mm -hmm. see how much you have in total rather than having them scattered. Trust mm -hmm. me, this is a very underrated feature to have, right? You want to have um, a total overview of how much you're holding. Yeah. And, and you can see that this is an easy way for people to come into crypto because mm -hmm. when people come into crypto, they have so many wallets, it's so confusing. Yeah, exactly. It, it's yeah. making this easier. Mm -hmm. Also, there's also talk on top of this, like, you know, how they're kind of integrate that with World Liberty Financial. Mm. So I feel like this is what's, you know, politics plus making it easy for people to access crypto. Yeah. There we go. Isn't Trump adding more US-based coins into the US Strategic Reserve, right? Yeah. Yeah. So with DeFi having a good relationship with the US government and them hosting the first ever DeFi conference in the US mm. shows a lot of good uh, relationships being built. So 
very, very exciting opportunities here. On top of that, they've also been building for five years already. Yeah. So they actually established a lot of legitimacy by being around for a long time. So this is not a new meme coin that Trump decided to launch, you know, <laughs> over a weekend and just like press the button and go. Uh. This legitimate services. Mm. But obviously, of course, the value is actually very interesting. Right now, the market cap is actually sitting at a very low cap. It's actually sub 10 million at this coin point, mm. which surprises me. You know, like, I would think, you know, for, for a name like this, yeah. <laughs> You know, just by the name itself, <laughs> the value, the market cap value will be higher, which is why I'm actually quite excited for this. Mm. I'm legitimately quite excited because um, just with the name, they can go very, very far mm. and with the political connections as well. So in summary, guys, I'm actually quite excited for the dot five because with a strong name, strong political backing, Donald J Trump Jr., Kevin O'Leary, and you probably can guess that these are just the, the vocal names, right? The, the tweets are already out here. So that's ev tweet evidence. But I, you can definitely tell by the people that are following these guys, like Coinbase, like Binance, like OKX, mm -hmm. right? People know something that's going on. Yeah. So guys, if you want to be informed, redo your research. I would say when you're doing research about D.Fi, is that it does all the grok and stuff and perplexity. They get confused about what is D.Fi and mm. the, the general yeah. DeFi. And that goes to show how strong that name yeah. is, right? Like it's constantly confused. So make sure if you do additional research, which I do encourage you to do, especially on this channel, mm -hmm. we know it's always about, about research. Make sure you search D.Fi and exactly what they've, they've been doing mm -hmm. and the social presence. But this is one that you definitely want to keep a tab on, definitely want to follow. I'm definitely excited for it as well. So with that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this mm -hmm. video. Definitely keep an eye on DeFi and what's happening with Donald Trump Jr. Don't just follow Donald Trump. Donald Trump Jr. is where the high tech, the high moving stuff is and where the opportunities are, guys. Mm. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Peace.